Hi, this is Derek the Nitwit. Happy Friday to everyone. You guys that all have traditional work weeks have survived. It's the evening. So, I know, okay, I know I was supposed to do a live today. Um, I thought I was supposed to go get labs done. We talked to my doctor about it, about me coming out on Fridays, because I do my shot on Tuesday, so I have to do the, the labs on Friday so that he would have it for the next Wednesday, you know, when he's in office or whatnot. Although he gets the lab results when it's not just on Wednesdays. But anyway, so I go, and you know, I ride the bus everywhere, so no biggie. You know, riding the bus is cheaper and more convenient than owning a car in the city. And I mean, it's not like in, you know, like in living like New York, you know, like New York City, where, you know, you can get just about anywhere at any hour of the night on public transportation, but we do have a pretty good bus system. So, no biggie. I sit on the bus, I play um, Harry Potter Wizards Unite, and I knit or crochet and just you know puts around except i forgot my ear my headphones so i was stuck listening to people and occasionally interacting with them because you know but i get all the way to where the um to the lab which is you know downstairs from the doctor's office he didn't call in the labs and there would have been pretty much no point in calling upstairs to have them do it, you know, because he wouldn't be able to get, he wouldn't get the message in time. I, I would have been waiting there forever, and I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. I said, I, so I'll just, what I'll do is I'll get on the portal and send them a message saying, hey, what are we supposed to do labs? And then, you know, I'll get a message back saying, you know, whatever the lab orders put in. No biggie. I mean, these are just basic, you know, everyone gets their cholesterol and, you know, blood chemistry check, you know, once a year. Type thing. It's not anything urgent, so it can wait. So, okay, no biggie. I've got to run to Walmart, and if I go to the Bell Eye Walmart, I can stop by Five Below and see what they've got in there, because there's usually some pretty cool stuff. So, um, I go Google Maps, go, you know, go to where it tells me to catch the bus. So I get there, the bus stop is temporarily closed. Okay, no biggie. So I'm, that's long to the next one. It's temporarily closed. And I'm like, okay, where, you know, where am I going to have to go? Because I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to go to the very next stop. And if it doesn't, if it's closed, then I'm just going to turn around and go back to the original one. Or call a neighbor. I'm not sure which. And as I'm thinking that and, you know, cussing out Google in my head. Um, and trying to figure out how to report that on the, the app, on Google Maps. Which I never did figure out, by the way. I know you can report speed traps. I couldn't figure out how to get in to tell them that um, your bus stop's closed. So anyway, I happen to look up and there is a bus that goes by. And so I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to follow it. Because even if, even if that's not the bus I want, it's going to at some point connect me to another bus where I can get where I need to go. You know, I have a monthly bus pass, so it's not going to cost me anything extra to, you know, go to the city group. So I get there and it's actually where I needed to be. Um, so, and I am looking at Google Maps. It's like, okay, your next bus is going to be like 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. 20 minutes, I'll make pony tollers. So I get there and sit down. And as soon as I get everything pulled out, here comes bus 23. Yay! So I get on there, you know, meet my connecting by, you know, and everything's fine at that point. So, but, but by this point, I'm frustrated. I'm tired. You know, I'm, depression, anxiety is kicking in. And I'm like, no one wants to listen to me do a live anyway. So I'm like, eh, I don't want to do it. So that's kind of where I am on that. It's like, I don't really know. Do you guys really actually want to come to a live? I mean, okay, no, anyway, I know you will. You know, but I mean, you know, does anyone else really want to? I mean, you know, I know that they're kind of social things and whatnot, but it's like the whole, if I have a party, is anyone going to come type thing? So, um, I don't know where I am on that. But, let me show you the stuff that I got today. So, real quick. I got this shirt. I forgot I got it. I got this at Five Below for five bucks. And, by the way, you know, Five Below now sells stuff that costs more than five dollars. So, but anyway, today, I am doing nothing. I won't be wearing that today. Um, I'll wear it soon, though. Because, you know, I have plenty of no pants days. <coughs> yeah, I'm ignoring that phone. 
Um, that's the phone number I give out when I've got to give out a phone number, but I don't really want to talk to the people. So, they can ring. If I actually knew where it was, I would turn it off. It's hidden in the pile somewhere. I need to organize that corner, but it's not made it to the top of the list yet. But anyway, Walmart, okay, I know money on diet, but doesn't mean I can't go look at it. So I went and looked at the yarn, and I got a video of that. I'll tack that on at the end of this. I mean, they've got some neat stuff there. Um, some They had some Bernat home deck that's solid black, which I've not seen solid black in the home deck, and I was so tempted, but I behaved. Didn't get any. They did have some yarn on clearance, and I'm like, mm, but the clearance was only like $1.97 off the normal. I'm like, who is on the... Max is on the fridge. Um, you see him up there? Right there. There. Yeah, I put it at my screen like you'd actually be able to see my finger. Anyway, so then I had to move it over in front of the camera. So anyways, Max is up there. But I went kind of roaming around because I wanted to get... They left me voicemail. I wanted to get a little, you know, one of those little roller carts that you see, like the rolling shopping cart or whatnot. I mean, I can, I think Walmart online has got one for 22 bucks. The one in store was 30. I went and, I, I even looked at luggage rack, like the rolling luggage rack thing that didn't actually have the wire basket built in. And it was 23. And I'm like, okay, that's how much I could get a rolling cart with an actual basket on it for that much so i will keep looking at some places online and you know find one or not it's not a high it's it's something that would be nice to have but it's not high priority um you know it is what it is but i did find there's a lot of stuff on clearance right now and in my defense some of the stuff i didn't mean to go to the clearance section i was looking for face wash and they moved it. They stick every single bit of face wash is with the cosmetics off of this little alcove now. And I'm like, I don't want to have to go and, you know, fight my way past people trying to get Lee press on nails and, you know, mascara and whatnot to go get something to wash my face. Um, would you leave some face wash out with the, you know, body wash or something? I mean, you know, even going to like the guy, the, the shaving section where they usually have like the, the upper end men's, you know, grooming products still don't even have face wash. Frustrating. But, so as I'm going through looking for this face wash, face, face wash, I can't, I had a problem with S's and SH's when I was a kid. Everything came out S. Like, so instead of saying ship, I said sip. But, um, now I just want to do it the other way. Everything is an SH. But anyway, so I overshot the face wash looking for it because they hit it. And ended up, and you know, Walmart's got that clearance section. So they've got, they had these, okay. They had those little, you know, build a little, little Orby stress ball. And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'd will i pay the $3 for the, the goopy stress ball if I didn't have to make it. I don't want the kit to make it. So, but I found this thing. And I was like, okay, cool, it's furry. You know, it's fuzzy, it's soft, whatnot. And it, I mean, it came in, um, you know, the pouch. So I couldn't do much with it. You know, I mean, I could kind of squeeze it a little bit. But, you know, you could, there wasn't a whole lot you could do. So I finally get home and I open it. Look at this. That is just freaking awesome. That's so cute. Look, he's got sparklies. He's got pretty puke. And he's, he's really soft too. So. And I'm pretty sure that, you know. <laughs> the ball ever breaks, which this is not going to be a cat toy. I don't care what they say. If this part ever breaks, and then I'm sure I could do something out of the rest of them. And then they have these things called yelly. Okay, yeah, kids' toys. They have these things called yellies. Little bug. Okay. You power it by screaming at it. Hey! Walk. See, look at him. He rolls. And you don't actually have to get that loud. But I like the idea. <laughs> Can't scream at the cats, and sometimes I want to, but I can scream at this guy. 
Hey! You can see. Hey! <laughs> Hello? I'm gonna have so much fun with that. Between me and the cats. Max said and Carrie's still on the bridge. Okay, right, we're gonna turn it off for now though. Because otherwise it's gonna go nuts while I'm talking. So let me get you. Oh, sorry about the finger there. Okay, so we got that. And then okay. So I drink coffee or hot cocoa every so often, and I have my own coffee mugs, but I don't have anything to take it with me. And they have these for a dollar. And, I mean, they're just, they're plastic. They're not really worth much more than a dollar, but they've got the little silicone grippy thing. So whenever I break the cup, I can always pull the grippy off and use it for something else. But, you know, and it's screw on lid. So, they had several of them, and I know I can't get the, I got the lid stuck. There we go. Anyway, I couldn't figure out if I wanted the black, you know, kind of marbly one. But it looks better in person. I mean, it's definitely, you know, not marble, but it looks better in person than it does on camera. You can see, what is that reflecting? What's that? I think that's the window. And then they had this one, which is kind of a metallic, spark, you know, whatnot, gradient. And I couldn't figure out what it was, so I got both. And they're a dollar. I can use them. So now I have one plate, one bowl, one, two, four coffee mugs. Okay. One was a, two of them were freebies, but one of the freebies is a metal one that's neat. And two glasses and these. I have some pots and pans. David, David gave me those. But yeah, I really don't have a whole lot of, I just don't need them and haven't bought them. A lot of Tupperware, though. And then I found these things. And I know this is not knitting stuff, but, you know, cheap bargains is great. It's a snack container where you have this side for, like, you know, yogurt and whatnot. And then you have up here for granola. And look, it comes with a slightly better than disposable, because at least it's washable, and you can pop it open, spork. Spork you. Um, that pops the top. It was 25 cents. And I keep looking off the wrong direction because I keep forgetting where my camera is, my camera lens is. So, but it, it was 25 cents for this. So, I got four. I got two of this teal blue-ish color and then two of the smoky gray ones. And I'm still on the hunt for, oh, okay, Crystal at Bago Day just uploaded. I just got the notification. Um, anyway, I am still on the hunt for Ruby Kit Kat. I mean, I ordered three online, and it's coming from a, a seller called Britain's Treasures. So I think it's getting shipped from Britain. Even. Hopefully they're not melted. Well, they shouldn't be melted in this weather. But anyway, those should be here by Valentine's Day. I mean, that's like the range. The end of January to midway through November, or midway, midway through November, midway through February, but I found these, they are raspberry cream Kit Kats, so I'm going to try them, I'm going to see, if they're not the same and I don't like them, I'm giving them to David and Chuck, David doesn't need the chocolate, but you know what, so, I don't need the chocolate, and then my last goodie that I got, is one of these little Automatic, battery operated. I gotta watch for this thing. Um, air freshener thing. Because I've had one before. I really liked it. They're good. They're nice. Um, this one wasn't on sale, but it still was a decent price. But here's my thing with, with this. Okay, so, you know, you pop it open. You know, you put the stuff in there whatnot. And you close it. My dumbass holds it. Aiming directly at me when I shut it. So guess what I got a mouthful of? Clean linen air freshener. So, you know, my breath smells like laundry. So, we got that. And 
Oh, I have to do this thing called, there's this website, or it's a company called Grove, that they do a lot of uh, cleaning products for your home, and it's kind of mail order stuff, but I mean, it's stuff that you can get in the stores a lot of times, but it's it's kind of a, it's a green company. Like they have, I go there because I can get bamboo toilet paper, and they just reformulated the toilet paper so that it's not John Wayne toilet paper. It is, I mean, it's not Charmin Ultra Soft, but it's softer than it was. It's, I think it's going to be decent now, but it's made 100% bamboo, which, you know, if you've seen any of my videos, you know, I love bamboo. It's the, the most renewable resource we've got. I mean, it grows so fast. So I got that, and then when they, they ship you the toilet paper, it comes in a cardboard box now, and, and it's not plastic. So, I got that, um, but they sent me this little gift, which is a lavender and bergamot soy candle, and it smells so good. I'm not the biggest fan of bergamot, bergamot, whatever it is, but I like lavender. I don't know that I will burn this. I might eventually, but right now, I just think it's neat, and I like the tin. It comes in, it's a metal tin, so... But anyway, that is where I am for today. I am home. I'm about to get in my pajamas, even though it is 10 after 5. Because I'm just going to sit here and chill and make scrunchies and just relax. And then tomorrow I'm going to get back to actually working on, um, you know, working on a project. And so, I mean, oh, I forgot, real quick. I got a post office box now. Y'all guys can send me happy mail. So I'll put the address down in the description. But in case you're on it, it's P.O. Box 1875, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma 73101. So I don't have to, you know, I don't, you know, I can give out, I can get happy mail because I'll have an address where, you know, whatnot. So I think that's fun. Um, but let me know in the comments. Would you guys actually want me to do a, a live stream? Um, I definitely, I want you would want to make sure it's not happening the same time someone else does. Because I know sometimes people will go and they'll be in multiple live streams at the same time. But, you know, this I tried that and it's kind of hard because you're trying to pay attention to what's going on in both of them. And it's not the easiest thing. And I think it's more fun just kind of to be in one and stick with this. So I'd, if I do one, I definitely would want to pick a time where I'm not, you know, because some people have established times like they know that. At such and such day, at such and such time, they're always on. I don't want to step on their toes. So, you know, I would pick a different time. Um, that's Max making the noise. And um, I had to figure out what it's because it's a little miss. She's probably in trouble. But, so, I mean, if you wanted to do a live, if you want to do a live stream, let me know. And then I know that a lot of people, they're having problems like with, um, Um, like the whole thing with the emojis and the comments that you have to watch, you know, make sure they're not spamming and whatnot. And I know that, you know, like, like there's Twitch. Um, and I think I, I've been in some, and there's also one called Mixer in, um, in my XR, in my XCR, I'm not sure. But one of the two of them, at least, I know that you can take the same stream and it goes to both, you know, both. YouTube and that stream, so I might play around a little bit um, and see what it, see you know, see how they are you know how they are if they'd be worth doing. But anyway, I am rambling at this point. Oh, by the way, Charlene's Crochet Corner. She got her Happy Mail from me, and she was so cute opening it. She's so excited. No, anyway, she's cuter than you were, if you can believe that. But anyway, go check out her channel. Um, show her some love. She's going to have to go and have some more medical stuff in a couple weeks. So she definitely, you know, needs some hugs in her way, some get well cards, you know, something. So let's go love bomb her. Talk to you guys later. So this is what my local Walmart has. I've got two aisles. This is one aisle. This is nice. It's a 
super bulky six acrylic. Bucks. They've got Burnett. Oh, Red Heart has got Sweet Home that feels real similar to the Burnett. That's it is 193 yards versus 150 yards for basically the same price. This is some bright stuff. Oh, that's very purple. There's just something fun about shopping for yarn, even if you're not getting any. Oh, here's my favorite stuff, the Burnett Maker Home Deck. And I've never seen it in solid black, and I am so freaking tempted. I've got some up there. Here is their small cotton section. Ever this stuff is incredibly soft. It's 100% acrylic, 248. 57 yards, bulky six. But look, the pink's not as soft as the gray. The teal is, but it's Okay, it's a greener teal than what it shows on the camera. This one's really not that soft. This isn't a black snot. The black's pretty soft. See, here's a little cotton ones. It's $1.77 for... Um, two ounces, 95 yards, 844 for the cones, comfy cotton blend. Cotton polyester. Listed as a three. It's not bad. I don't think that's where it belongs. Yep, there's the rest of them. 588. Okay. Oh, the scrubbies. And here's nylon crochet thread. Oh, look at that. How tiny that is. Size 10. They got the scrubbies. 424. And I'll show you more on the other side when I get over there for what's the options on that side. Okay, I just saw this. Kobu. Kabu. Approved by knitted knockers. It is size three, 232 yards for four bucks. And they got all those different colors. They also have these project labels. Made for you, handmade for love, and crafted for you. I don't want the handmade with love one. And they're, but they're a flexible. So it doesn't say what they're made out of. Leather or pleather, I'm not sure which. But they're four bucks for six. They got jumbo crochet hooks. Plastic yarn needles. There's some big ones back there. Mm -hmm. 
there's the other aisle. We've got the Mandala cakes. Gee. Three dollars normally four ninety seven for that particular color. We've got the little deluxe ones. The scarfies. I worked tried working with scarfie one time and it just the more you have to frog it, the more it ends up just falling apart, or if you're tight knitter, it falls apart. I think this was the color I had. Look at this. Sparkly. Get a black one like it. But there's the finger whatnot blankets. There's all the red heart. Ooh. Reminds me of Christmas candy. Neons. And this is the last of what they got. The Chanel. So that's what my the Bella Warmer Ops. Got more of the scrubbies. Close to my high school colors there, minus the white. 